a goat had seven younglings whom she loved very much and carefully protected them from the wolf. One day, when she had to go and fetch some food, she called them all together and said, Dear children, I must go out to find some food. So be on your guard against the wolf and don't let him inside. Pay close attention because he often disguises himself, but you can recognize him right away by his groove voice and black paws. Protect yourself. If he gets in the house, he will eat you all up. Upon saying this, the goat went on her way, but it was not long before the wolf arrived at the door and called out. Open up, dear children, I am your mother and have brought you some beautiful things. But the seven kids said, you are you're not, you're not our mother, she has a lovely soft voice and yours is groove, you are the wolf and we are not going to open the door. The wolf went away to a shopkeeper and bought a big piece of chalk, which he ate, and it made his voice soft. Then he returned to the house door of the seven kids and called out with a soft voice, Dear children, let me in, I am your mother and I have brought something for each of you. But the wolf had put his paw on the, win the window, and when the children saw it, they said, you are not our mother, she doesn't have a black paw like yours. You are the wolf, we are not going to open the door for you. So the wolf ran to a baker and said, Baker, put some dot on my paws for me. And after that, that after that, he, after that was done, the wolf went to the miller and said, Sprinkle some white fla flavor flour on my paws. The miller said, No, if you don't do it, I will eat you, said the wolf. So the miller had to do it. Now the wolf went once again to the house door of the seven kids and said, Dear children, let me in. I am your mother and I have brought some things for each of you. The seven kids wanted to see the paws first, and when they saw that they were snow white and heard the wolf speak so softly, they thought he was their mother and opened the door. Once the wolf entered, however, they recognized him and quickly hid themselves as best hid themselves as best they could. The first kid slid under the bed, the second kid in in the bed, under the table and in the bed, the third in the oven, the fourth in the kitchen, the fifth in the cupboard, cupboard, the sixth under the large wash basin and the seventh in the clock case. However, the wolf found them all and swallowed them except for the youngest in the clock case who remained alive. When the wolf had satisfied his craving, he went off. Shortly thereafter, the mother goat came home, and oh, what a terrible sight! The wolf had been there and had devoured her dear children. She thought they were all dead, but then the youngest jumped out of the clock case and told her how everything had happened. In the meantime, the wolf, who was stuffed, had gone to a green meadow where he had laid himself down in the sun and had fallen into a deep sleep. The old goat thought she still might be able to save her children. Therefore, she said to the youngest kid, Take the scissors, needle and thread and follow me. After she left the house, she found the wolf lying on the ground in the middle and snoring. There is that nasty wolf, she said, and inspected him from all sides. There he is after eating my, my six children for supper. Give me the scissors. Oh, if only they are still alive inside him. 
toward the gold. Then she cut his belly open and the six kids that had been swallowed whole by the glutinous, glutinous wolf jumped out and were unsketched. Immediately she ordered them to gather large and heavy stones and to bring them to her. Then she filled his, filled his stomach with them and the kids sewed him up again and did behind a hedge. When the wolf had finished sleeping, he felt that his stomach was very heavy and said, It's rumbling and rumbling in my belly, it's rumbling and trumbling in my belly, tumbling, and I've only eaten six kids. <laughs> he thought he had been have a drink of fresh water to help himself, and he looked for a well, but when he leaned it over, he couldn't stand straight because of the stones and fell into the water. When the seven kids saw this, they came running and dancing joyfully around the well. Now, this is the tale about the seven god kids. And until the next tale, so good gaming.